name. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. The 12 laws that governs our universe. 1. The law of divine oneness. The first out of the 12 universal laws helps us to understand that we live in a world where everything is connected to everything else. Everything we do, say, think and believe affects others and the universe around us. 2. The law of vibration. This law states that everything in the universe moves, vibrates, and travels in circular patterns. The same principles of vibration in the physical world apply to our thoughts, words, feelings, and desires in the etheric world. Each sound, thing, and even thought has its own vibrational frequency, unique unto itself. 3. The Law of Action. The law of action must be applied in order for us to manifest things on earth. Therefore, we must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions and words. 4. The Law of Correspondence. This law states that the principles or laws of physics that explain the physical world, energy, light, vibration, and motion, have their corresponding principles in the etheric or universe, as above, so below. 5. The Law of Cause and Effect. This universal law states that nothing happens by chance or outside the universal laws. Every action has a reaction or consequence and we reap what we have sown. 6. The Law of Compensation. This law is the law of cause and effect applied to blessings and abundance that are provided for us. The visible effects of our deeds are given to us in gifts, money, inheritances, friendships, and blessings. 7. The Law of Attraction. This law demonstrates how we create the things, events, and people that come into our lives. Our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions produce energies which, in turn, attract like energies. Negative energies attract negative energies and positive energies attract positive energies. 8. The Law of Perpetual Transmutation of Energy. This 8 out of the 12 universal laws is a powerful one. It states that all persons have within them the power to change the conditions in their lives. Higher vibrations consume and transform lower ones, thus, each of us can change the energies in our lives by understanding the universal laws and applying the principles in such a way as to effect change. 9. The Law of Relativity. This law states that each person will receive a series of problems, tests of initiation, for the purpose of strengthening the light within. We must consider each of these tests to be a challenge and remain connected to our hearts when proceeding to solve the problems. This law also teaches us to compare our problems to others' problems and put everything into its proper perspective. No matter how bad we perceive our situation to be, there is always someone who is in a worse position. It is all relative. 10. The Law of Polarity. This law states that everything is on a continuum and has an opposite. We can suppress and transform undesirable thoughts by concentrating on the opposite pole. It is the law of mental vibrations. 11. The Law of Rhythm. This law states that everything vibrates and moves to certain rhythms. These rhythms establish seasons, cycles, stages of development, and patterns. Each cycle reflects the regularity of God's universe. Masters know how to rise above negative parts of a cycle by never getting too excited or allowing negative things to penetrate their consciousness. 12. The Law of Gender. This last out of the 12 universal laws states that everything has its masculine, yang, and feminine, yin, principles, and that these are the basis for all creation. The spiritual initiate must balance the masculine and feminine energies within herself or himself to become a master and a true co-creator with God.